Here's our question that we're going to be working on this time. Um, it's a relatively simple equilibrium question, but, uh, you know, equilibrium is important. So here we've got a box of veggies. Um, it's being hoisted, or it's being held in place by two springs on two cables. This is not part of the cable system, that's just to show where these dimensions go. So we have these two cables with springs and we have to determine the mass of V. So we're given that the unstretched length of this spring, AB, is uh, 3 meters and we're given that uh, the K for this spring is 30 newtons per meter and the K for this spring is 20 newtons per meter but we're not given the unstretched length of this spring but we don't really need it. So let's start. Uh, we'll start with finding the length of AB Uh, that's square root three squared plus four squared equals five meters. So we get that this is five meters long now, and its unstretched length is three meters. So stretch cable AB is stretched two meters. So what is the force in that spring system? call it FS or FAB. FAB is more descriptive. 30 newtons per meter. 30 newtons per meter times the stretch, 2 meters, equals 60 newtons. So we get that the force in this spring is 60 newtons, which is a pretty good force for holding up these veggies. We don't want them to fall. Uh, we don't know what's in this spring, but we don't really need it for this. So let's draw our free body diagram over here, just because I want to keep that in view. Uh, let's see here. So we've got this force here, 60 newtons. Got this, call it FV for force veggies. <laughs> force veggies. And we have this, which is FAC, unknown. And that is acting at 45 degrees. And uh, we'll draw in the Triangle here, this is 4, 3, and 5. Very common triangle. So, this is a very easy solution to do. Uh, you don't have to do a lot to solve it. You don't need a lot. It's just very simple, very easy, and it's a nice place to start off. So, we'll start with the x direction. Sigma forces in the x direction. Take that sense to be positive, equals zero, our coordinate axes, x, y, positive. So, summation of forces in x, we'll get x component of this, so drop that down to there, use a different color to represent that, we'll have the x component of that, and at the same time, this also has a y component. So we get 60 newtons times, well, cos of this angle. Cos is going to be adjacent over hypotenuse, 4 over 5. Because it is a right angle triangle. If these were not. Uh, orthogonal to each other, then this wouldn't be a right angle triangle, we couldn't use that, but uh, in this case it is, so we can. And minus FAC times sine of 45 degrees, I just know is 1 over root 2, always has been, and it's a very common angle, equals 0. 
therefore f a c equals 60 newtons times 4 over 5 times root 2. Basically what we did here is uh, hold on. basically what we did here is we took this expression we brought it over to here then we took this root 2 and we multiplied it on both sides so we get FAC times 1 and then we get this times root 2 as well so we brought that over there multiplied by root 2 So, FAC equals that, which equals 48 root 2. Which is really just 60 times 4 divided by 5, we get 48. We know that's times root 2. And then if we want to be a little bit more approximate, we'll multiply by root 2 and we'll get 67.9 approximately. Approximately. So that gives us our FAC. Sorry. That gives us our FAC. Very nice force. You know? It's very, very nice. Anyway, now we want to find our FV right here. That's what we were looking for in the first place. And uh, once we have that, then we can very easily determine the mass of the box of veggies. Go here. We'll have our 60 newtons, 6t, 60, 3, 4, 5 triangle, and we now have that this is 48 root 2 newtons. I like to be exact, what can I say? And we'll have FV down here. And this is pretty easy. 1, 1, root 2. I like the triangles personally. So this is uh, this isn't too difficult here. We do sigma Fy equilibrium in the y such that that is positive. Uh, so what do we get? We get 60 newtons times 3 over 5. That's sine of this angle, which is opposite 3 over hypotenuse 5. Plus, these are positive because they're vertically oriented going up. Plus 1 over root 2, which is opposite 1 over root 2 hypotenuse, times 48 root 2 newtons. root 2 newtons, minus, and this was FV, FV equals 0. So we get that FV equals all of this stuff, so I'll just, because I don't want to have to write it down again, this stuff equals FV, we just add this to both sides, no big deal. Uh, we get FV equals uh, we get 84 newtons. Uh, that 4 will perpetually look crazy. We get 84 newtons with half a red 4. Uh, it doesn't really mean anything, it's just I accidentally hit the button. So, we get the weight of the force, weight of the box of veggies. is 84 newtons. But we want the mass, right? Lucky for us, we're working in the metric system, so the mass is pretty easy to find. It's going to be kilograms. It's not going to be uh, pound second squared per foot. So it's going to be nice units. This was in, If this was uh, US customary, <laughs> it'd just be a little bit more difficult. It'd probably be like an extra set of units we'd have to include. 
but in this case it's relatively easy. I'm not going to get into Imperial or US customary as it's presently known. Anyway, weight equals mass times gravity. Mass equals weight over gravity equals 84 newtons over 9.81 meters per second squared equals approximately 8.56 kilograms. Therefore, mass of veggies and uh, tails on my V's there. Mass of veggies is 8.56 kilograms. And we now have the mass of the veggies. So, I guess, yeah, it has its real world applications.